Hey guys, good morning. Looks like it's morning here at the day's end. Um, we just, I just got ahead and got ready, got everything going. Ryan's right here with me. We're about to go check out 208, which is the room and corridor Cody's in. Hopefully he answers decent, or we'll have to block this one out. Good morning. <laughs> How is things today? This is a cave. What do you think how things are going? <laughs> As you can see, we're having some fun this morning. <laughs> was he passed out? No. I think oh, the little doll was up last night because I heard tiny footsteps that were not Sean's. Mm -hmm. Because I heard the bathroom door open at 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, that was probably Brian. He's pretty active last night. You little shit. <laughs> I was pretty much out after. Oh man, you might be in our room. Okay. <laughs> oh, good okay, God. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Well, we're going to up now. We're about to be leaving out here at the day's end. And then after that, we're going to be heading over. Um, might get some breakfast, don't know, or lunch, something like that, whatever. Uh, we're gonna go head over, check out the, um, what is it, we're checking out? Everglades. Everglades, yep, check out the Everglades, and then Coral Castle. So, stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back. So looks like we made it over here to the Everglades. What do you think so far? I think it's awesome. It's a good looking park and they keep it neat and nice. So we just arrived here. Right over here is the visitor center. Right here that we're gonna go check out. Looks like also we saw some signs coming in that said we there's a, uh, what kind of creatures out here? Pumas and mountain lions. Mountain lions. And it looks like there's actually a mountain lion statue over there we're gonna go check out right now. All right, let's go check it out. It's on. Stand from Stephen Tying. Florida Panther. Oh, it's a Panther. It's a Panther. Oh, which yeah. Panther is still considered a Puma. Puma. I don't like those birds for me. What are they? They steal your bait when you're fishing. We deal with them all the time in Eustace. I don't like them. Oh, the black ones? Yep. We got one over in the pond. That's a stacking turtle. They smile. Shark valley. Yeah. Brian, now that we're in the Everglades, are you going to wrangle me a uh, gator? No. Is there something in there? They got lily pads. There's got frogs, frogs in, in here. You see anything in there? Somebody lost their shoe. <laughs> lost their shoe. Dragon see? Oh, dragonflies. Huh. Damn, Brian. Brian, is that your shoe? No. Man, that water's actually really clear for no um for no pump or anything. That'd be a perfect place for oh. that. Oh, fish. What? It's hot. <laughs> no. There's a fish right there. I don't expect myself. These plants right here, you could eat the roots. Look how clear that water is, though. I'm actually kind of astonished how clear the water is for it being a uh, stagnant water Michael, source. There's a fish. Mm. It disappeared. There was a fish right there, but it disappeared. Oh, okay. There's a fish right there. No. I was hoping to see a moccasin. A moccasin? Snake. Uh, I know what it is. We still might, though. That'd be good. You can run. They chase. <laughs> I won't run. I'll grab it. Good thing I uh, I'm used to running because I'm I was doing softball and ROTC. So good thing I, I know how to run. run. I will grab it and hit it. Good luck. Why bite my hand off? I have a We have a gift shop. Oh wow. Yeah, for me. 
Really? Yeah. Oh, there's the gator right there. Is that real? <laughs> Was it real or real? I feel like I might be uh, used to this exhibit because it happens on the Yeah, over in Trout Lake. Look, he shows all the fish that they have in the Everglades. It's a pelican. Wow. Okay. Ooh, at least killer fish. Those things are fun to catch. They got the guards up a top down. It's like a real animal. Yellow bullhead. See how beautiful the water is here in Florida at the Evergreens. Everglades. Oh, so sorry. Everglades. <laughs> Not Evergreens. I'm sorry. I don't even know where we are. I do. I just got the words myself. Yeah, it's really pretty out here. Or something. Or I don't know. I don't think I ever need to get that. So, yep, so that's how this place looks here. I'm sure there's a lot of different little trails you can do and, and things like that. Pretty much what the Everglades is, is just a big old marsh, really. Um, there's a whole lot of nothing really when you look out and about. It's actually kind of cumbersome to see. Nothing. Isn't that pretty cool? I mean, how really nice. You know, on the way in, when you would look back and forth, how there was literally nothing for miles. Isn't that pretty crazy to see that? Yeah. Yeah. It was just all farmland, really plant nurseries, and uh, palm trees and coconut trees. Yeah. And you get a really nice breeze out here, too. It's amazing. He likes to stay nice and cool. So we made it over here to Coral Castle. Right here, it's hidden behind this building right here. Unfortunately, we weren't able to do any videoing inside of it, but we got plenty of photos, so we're gonna go ahead and show you the photos and everything. But what do you think of the Coral Castle? I think it's ingenious how he built it by himself and with other people that he trusted and uh, had his friends come in for like 10 cents. But of course, around those days, it was a lot of money. Even a dollar was a lot of money. But uh, most of the structure, they still think it's mysterious how he put it together because they don't have enough facts. So I thought it was pretty funny at the very end. They think uh, old uh, terrestrials did it, aliens. <laughs> you know, when he got levitation powers where he could lift it up with one hand and place it down like the Hulk. But all the artwork that is streamed throughout. Um, the museum and the castle is very intricate. Everything has a purpose in its design, and each piece has its own story and why he crafted it. And pretty much, it's like a whole whole house, but like open with no roof. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's pretty interesting how it's and done. His last ten years, his last ten years, then he stayed inside. Inside his little castle up there. Yeah, he was so sick. Yeah. That's pretty interesting though, like it seems like all the castle and all the actual walls itself was actually dug out from the bedrock that this place was built on, which was a quarry, and they just kind of excavated it and made the walls, but he did it all by himself, with only a help of one person for driving to help move some other pieces from his, apparently he had a whole nother coral castle somewhere different, it was a smaller size than this though, and he transported pieces over to here to complete his little work for his, his Sweet Sixteen. Sweet 16, so. And she was older than him, but she they were actually engaged, it said. And the day before they were supposed to get married, she broke it off. So it's kind of a sad thing. Very sad. But one good thing came out of it, Coral Castle. So come down here and check out Coral Castle. It's definitely pretty intri interesting to see. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the pictures here, but we're leaving now from Coral Castle.
But we had fun down at the Everglades, went down there and saw Robert, we went to Coral Castle, and now we finally made it back to where we live. How you feel about the trip, Cody? I feel good, and I got Robert here with uh, the photo I took of him. Yep. So he's going to be sitting in my back room. I'm going to be making a chair and a display, like a miniature version. So that way he doesn't get out and uh, <laughs> cause mischief throughout the house. <laughs> But yep, I'm finally glad to be back on our land and now more driving for today. <laughs> it was a very long drive home. <laughs> yeah. <it seemed. laughs> Would you agree? <laughs> He's tired, I believe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, well, until next time, thanks for watching Total Paranormal Documentary Series. Hello, this is Total Paranormal Documentary Series. How can we help you? I need to see if there's any paranormal in my home. Can you come out? Are you seeing something strange? Oh, yes. Something unusual? Something you cannot explain? I have to call you. Call us! Total Paranormal Documentary Series! <laughs>